And Joe, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kick off our show with a guest, man. We got a Jets linebacker that, like I said, the Jets you know, took the field for the first time this year, which is exciting. So we're gonna bring on Josh Martin. Josh, this is Joe and Tyson. How you doing, man? Hey, how's it going, Joe and Tyson? I'm doing all right. Well, first of all, Josh, thank you for your time, man. I know you guys took the field today, so I'm sure you're pretty busy. Yeah, you know, first day of OTA, it's always nice to get back out there and, and be able to practice with one another and, and uh, you know, work towards this, this season. Well, Josh, before we talk some football, man, you seem to be like a world traveler. You do a lot of stuff off the field. Could you share some of those stories with us, like what you're doing? Yeah, so uh, last year I, I went to Asia for a month. This year I went down to South America. I hit up uh, Argentina and Buenos Aires. Uh, along with Mendoza, uh, Calafate, Puerto Madryn, and uh, Trelu uh, in Patagonia. And uh, it was really good seeing the sights, you know, uh, exploring another part of the world. Uh, I feel like people don't talk about traveling to Argentina or Patagonia too much, so I, I figured that was a good place for me to, to travel. And uh, we did everything. I traveled with my girlfriend, Sierra. We did everything from wine tasting to uh gorging on empanadas and, and hiking glaciers and, and hanging out with some penguins, which was, was a pretty crazy trip, uh, but it was a great time. Yeah, it's awesome, man. You follow you on social media. You see all these things. Like, wow, you don't see that very often. Where you do, so do you do it just for fun, or do you do it just what is just to experience new cultures? It, it's just for fun, man. You know, experience new cultures and, and see the world, right? Uh, it's a great opportunity. This, all this downtime uh, in the off season, and uh, part of it is, you know, a way for me to unwind, right, and doing something I, I enjoy and having new experiences and, and really just, uh, you know, getting away for a, a month or so or a few weeks and, and uh, just kind of living life, right, before you have to get back to the grind of uh, lifting weights and, and, and running gasters. <laughs> and Josh, my name is Joe, and I want to welcome you to the show, man. It's great to hear you talk about your travels and everywhere you're going, but what was your favorite foods going through all those places? Ah, you know, I found a really good spot. Uh, we were in, we were in Hong Kong, I believe. This was last year. There's this dim sum spot, uh, Michelin star uh, dim sum spot called Tim Ho Wan. And what I like about this spot, are, are you familiar with dim sum? No, I'm not at all. Yep. Man, uh, me. I've so never had so dim, dim sum is essentially Chinese tapas. So you have these small plates nice. that you order. And they bring them out. Uh, what what uh, makes Tim Hoan different is that they make your uh, they make it to order, as opposed wow. to the traditional dim sum where they go around this huge ballroom with the food on the carts and you have to chase down the fresh carts of food. But I like Tim Hoan because they make it fresh, and they also have a Tim Hoan uh, in Manhattan, Lower Manhattan. So uh, I like to frequent that spot every now and then, and that's probably the the best place I can remember, and, uh, you know, I've had a bunch of great food, so it's tough to excuse just one, but that's probably probably the most memorable one just because they have one in, in Manhattan. Wow. I, I'm definitely going to have to try that out sometime. It sounds like, sounds like it would be delicious, man. I, I definitely got to get into that, but go ahead. No, absolutely. When you go try the, the pork buns, they're absolutely fantastic. So when you go – Try the pork buns. And it's, it's, it's great because it's very accessible. It's not a super expensive meal, but it's very uh, good food. Oh, okay. That's absolutely excellent, man. I, I'll definitely try it out. Now <laughs> I'll let you know if I liked it or not, but it sounds like it's good, man. But I want to get to a little yeah. football with you. When you look back at 2017, man, how would you assess, how would you assess your play? My play? Uh, you know, I played a large majority of my defensive snaps in my career. Uh, last year, and uh, which was a great opportunity for me. I think when people see, oh, he's a fifth-year veteran, they, you know, those numbers that I put up, I had some tackles, uh, uh, a few TFLs, uh, but in terms of the sack numbers, that was probably the, the if I had to choose a, a pain point from last year's the sack totals given the reps that I have. So that's something that I've been trying to focus on correcting this, this uh, upcoming season with, with my training and being particular about how I train and, and what I'm training towards, you know, just cutting those milliseconds off of, you know, the pass rush getting to the quarterback. Yeah, and obviously you, you played a lot, like you mentioned. What were some of your biggest lessons learned from last season? Uh, you know what? The wear and tear – so, yeah, obviously I, I play a lot of special teams, right? And so the, the wear and tear and the conditioning 
for special teams is, is different than the conditioning for uh, defense. You know, special teams, you're running 50 yards down a field to cover a punt or to cover a kickoff. Defense, uh, there's a lot more contact involved. Uh, you know, you have to engage a blocker, shed the block, you know, pursue uh, the ball carrier. And uh, so the conditioning part, when you combine that with special teams and uh, the games that, you know, I played every special teams rep, including field goal, PAT, and then, you know, having 40-plus defensive reps, it's pretty demanding on your conditioning. So that's something that I'm looking to address as well moving forward. Once again, we're speaking with Josh Martin, who's very kind to give us a few minutes tonight. Josh, one of the biggest takeaways from last season, from a, from a fan perspective at least, was week in and week out, you guys played your tails off, man. It was like everybody was so, like from a fan side, was so proud of you guys for just competing every week, giving you everything you had. Every game was exciting. What would you attribute that to? Uh, you know, you got a bunch of great guys that really love the game. And not only that, they love to compete. And when you get, you know, a bunch of guys doing that together, you know, you usually get a better result. But I think, uh, you know, with more experience, the experience that the game last year, there's a lot to look forward to. Josh, you talked a little bit earlier just about the wear and tear, and you talked about conditioning and, and, and making sure when you got out there because the special teams was definitely a big part of your game as well. What did you do to help your body kind of rejuvenate from that wear and tear kind of throughout the weeks? Were you in the cold tubs? Where Was it massages? What was it? Yeah, I do a little bit of everything, man. You know, I hit up the acupuncturist, massage therapist, chiropractor, ART specialist, fascial stretch therapist. I'm a big fan of the Normatec recovery boots. Um, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the cold tub, uh, but I am a big fan of the Normatec recovery boots just because you get the same effect and the same results uh, without subjecting yourself to freezing to death. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. Whatever you have to do to make sure your body's good and ready to go, I'm def I'm sure you absolutely do. But as an outside linebacker, how difficult is it to consistently rush the passer the way you do? Uh, you know, it's it's one of those things where you just have to create good habits in your rush. You know, and you look back at the film and you see what rushes have the most success. And it's really just uh, staying alive. You know, being hungry, having a hunter's heart, and uh, you know, never, never giving up on that pursuit of the quarterback. Yeah, and you know, as you, know, you said, there's so many, so many talented linebackers out there and pass rushers. Are there guys that you like to watch to try to pick up some of their skill sets? Yeah, you know, uh, anyone that has ten plus sacks a year, you, you know, I'll try to watch and see what they do to be successful. Guys like Von Miller, Justin Houston, uh, Ryan Kerrigan, uh, who else? Uh, Robert Mathis, uh, you know, any of those premier pass rushers, Melvin Ingram, uh, that are out there today and, and uh, seeing what they do and seeing what I can apply to my game and take away from them, uh, you know, to better serve me and my rush. And how much, you know, when we, when we went to the training camp last year and some of the practices, we saw Kevin Green, man, just going crazy. Just He's such a fiery dude. And he's so loud and vocal, and the defense is just chomping at the bit. How cool was it to play under with with Kevin Green as your coach? It was awesome, man. You know, I, I'm a big fan of KG, uh, obviously Hall of Fame outside linebacker, so he really knows the position and he absolutely knows the game. So having his influence and his knowledge and his wisdom uh, and him sharing that with us in, in the outside linebacker room was uh, incredible. And so uh, I think, you know, with everything that we've, we've learned over this past year, uh, there's there's a lot to look forward to. And now you mentioned, you know, you did a lot of traveling, and I guess a very important question, that's just something the fans definitely want to know is, have you worked on your dance moves, man? Because the dancing defense last year was a hit that Thursday night. Have you worked on some dance moves in case that happens again? You know, I, I did not come prepared, you know, I'm, I, uh, last year. So I'm going to be, I'm going to make sure I'm prepared. You know, I, I recently uh, signed on to the, the board of Harlem School of the Arts and they have a really good dance program. So I might have to take a couple of lessons and, and uh, learn from some of the kids there and see if I can get some dance moves to sharpen up my, my dancing game for those halftime or uh, timeout breaks, excuse me. So look out for that. I'm, I'm excited. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Maybe I'll make some content and post and have fun with it. So that'll, that'll be fun. There you go. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. Have you set any goals for the 2018 season? You know, uh, I think it would be really nice just to maintain everything I've been able to accomplish on defense, 
and on special teams. You know, when you get into the double-digit tackles on special teams, you're doing a great job. If I can uh, match my 2016 number of 14 tackles uh, on special teams, that would be great if I get that opportunity. And then, uh, you know, maintain the TFOs. You get 10-plus TFOs in the season, you're doing all right. Uh, get a bunch of tackles on defense. But the, the biggest thing is those sacks. Uh, if I can increase my sack number, uh, you know, that that would be tremendous. Just, uh, you know, for me personally, obviously, and, and to, to really help the team and be able to contribute that way. And, and you spoke about special teams, and you keep talking about just the impact that you had on special teams, which was really big for us. How important is our special teams coordinator, a Coach Boyer, how important is he within that role of putting you in the right spot to make your plays? Yeah, you know, he – I'm lined up in the premier positions to, to make tackles. You know, I'm at the guard of punt. I'm uh, running down the middle of the field on kickoff. Uh, you know, I essentially get the first dibs at the tackle uh, beyond the gunners on punt. But, uh, you know, that, that's that's huge, you know, when you're able to have a coach that really believes in you and uh, push you in a position to be successful. That's major. And uh, so I really, I'm very appreciative of Coach Boyer and uh, everything he's helped me accomplish and put me in the right place. Yeah, and he's another vocal guy. That's the one thing we noticed last year, like, on you know, a training camp or practices, like the, the coaching staff seemed to be a lot more vocal. There seemed to be a lot more, like, edge and attitude on defense. Is that something that you feed off as a player? Uh, absolutely. You know, you, you obviously any energy that you can get outside of your own is great. Uh, but really what it boils down to is what you bring to the table and being confident in what you bring to the table. And it gets playing, right? Uh, it, it's, it's all about – just being yourself, having fun with the game that you love, and, and uh, going out there and showing what you're all about. And that's how I kind of try to – that's how I try to approach the game uh, day in and day out. Once again, we're speaking with Josh Martin, who's very kind to give us some moments. And you know, make sure you follow him on Twitter, you know, at, at Josh Martin 95 Check out his website, joshmartin95.com. He's got great stuff on there. And, Josh, you know, as, as you return to the Jets, you know, you, you changed agents, man. You went to – a guy Jet fans love, Gary V and Gainer Sports. Talk about him, man. Talk about a motivational guy, man. That guy can he can tell you anything. He's super motivational. Oh yeah, no, super motivational. But uh, first and foremost, he's a businessman. You know, he's, he's uh, started a very successful enterprise in, in Vayner Media, and uh, his expertise in, in marketing and, and creating businesses as an entrepreneur, as an investor, uh, that's a major value add. Uh, when you talk about his brand and. Uh, all those intangibles that he brings to the table along with, uh, you know, an excellent staff at Vayner Sports. Uh, to me, at this point in my career, it was a tough decision to make, but it was really a, a no-brainer just looking at the opportunity and, and the things that I'm trying to pursue off the field. You know, I'm going into my sixth year, and as much as I love playing football, it inevitably will come to an end. Uh, it does for everyone, and, and I think it's best to put my, myself in a position to be successful when I'm done playing. And I think it's okay to do that while I'm playing and and while I'm in good health uh, and, and you know, sort of thriving in the league in my own way. Uh, so that that's really uh, working with Gary and, and his bro AJ and the agents at Vayner Sports. Uh, it's been great so far. You know, it's only been a few weeks, but I'm excited for things we have in the pipeline and, and uh, things that you know we're looking forward to accomplish by working together. Yeah, no, that's definitely exciting, man. Like I said, we all follow you on social media. We saw the announcement. Obviously, everybody, you know, follows Gary. So, that's definitely congratulations on that. And I guess last but not least is, you know, Jeff fans are no doubt excited, man. I'm sure you can see it just, you know, with all the changes that have been made. You know, do you have a message for all the Jeff fans out there? You know what? You guys have been waiting for a long time, and, and uh, things are finally starting to materialize. So I think there is something worth being excited about, and, and uh, I can't wait for the season to start so we can show you all what we've been working on. And, uh, yeah, that's that's it, man. Jet up. Josh, thank you very much for your time. We definitely appreciate it. You know, best of luck this season. Get those sacks, and we'll talk to you again. Hey, thanks, Joe. Thanks, Tyson, and I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Absolutely, man. Have a great night. You too. Bye. All right, Joe, Josh Martin, linebacker of the Jets, very kind to give us a few minutes. And I remember we talked to him last year, and it's like, wow, he's, yeah. he, he's, a, he's a very diverse player. He, you know, plays special teams. You know, he's making an impact on defense. And off the field, too, man, he, he's just like – he's like a world traveler, and he, he just explores. Yeah. He's really a fascinating guy, man. Yeah, that's the exact, exact word I was going to use, fascinating. 
I mean, he's got so much going on. Like you said, you know, outside of just football, he's a world traveler, you know, goes out and experiences different things. But, I mean, on the field, I mean, versatile guy. He plays backer for us. You know, he's one of the guys that we talk about week in and week out is, you know, being one of those guys that can get to the quarterback on our team. You know, one of the guys that – one of the only few guys that we have that we say, hey, he can get after. And then on special teams where he has a huge impact for us, he's always the guy sticking his nose in there and making plays on there as well. And the one thing I always notice about him is he's relentless, man. He's one of these – like, if you notice a lot of guys on defense, they, they become they're relentless. It's like, you know, high energy, high character, high motor. And that's how you build your squad. I mean, you can't have 11 yeah. superstars on defense. You need to have quality yeah. role players or, or guys that just keep pushing you and pushing you. And Josh Martin's one of those guys, man. He's def- I'm glad he's back, first of all. But he's a contributor. And like you said, he wants to get more sacks. Safety gets four sacks this year. It's it's all an impact, man. It all helps. 